My name is Daphne and I've joined as a non-call to start with about five years ago. I don't know how long I've been saying five years. I reckon about five years. And then I've started at the training center as a general trainer about two and a half years ago. So at first I thought I was way too old at that stage. I was 26. I thought that is something you couldn't do at that age and I realized that yes indeed it is possible so here I am now working for the fire service loving it. Wood doesn't want to ride a big red fire truck. <laughs> it's really exciting isn't it? It's a great job wherever it might be within the service because fire service is such a wide organization. It's not only just as a firefighter, but as a general trainer as well. When that job came about, I had no idea that it would be a possibility for me until I started looking into it and I realized it was. So the possibility are endless, I think, within the fire service even to strive and be happy. So anyone that fancy trying it or seeing something that they believe is interesting, go for it. Try it. Um, it's great. I like it. <laughs> I love to get people to guess and now I'm gonna say it out loud so everybody will know so I won't be able to play that game anymore but I'm from Canada but the French speaking part so I'm French Canadian I could not speak a word of English until I was 19 it would be a lie saying that I found the test uh, easy because that wasn't uh, I had learned English while traveling, which was a very social uh, environment. It wasn't in a school where it was very prescriptive, where I learned how to write and how to read. It was very much from conversation. So I did not found any of the tests, which is math, English and mechanical, easy because I had to read within a certain amount of time. And then I had to answer those. But there is a lot of tools and a lot of people that were ready to help me. So I practiced, I worked really hard and somewhat managed to make it through. But it was not an easy ride. But surround yourself with people that are ready to help you. Ask a question and go for it. <laughs> if I start as a firefighter, is definitely the community aspect. So not having family here and at first not having really friends here it, I felt like it was something that was linking me to my new community where I was going to live and also getting to meet other people that had the same interests as me so my team um, at the station that I work at we, we all want to help we all want to give our time and I think that was something that I was really upheld with and about how do you say it that I was really excited about, really, to kind of meet other people uh, my, like minded like me and interested in helping others. And go for it and ask for help. That would be my biggest uh, advice. Uh, don't do it alone. There is people that will want to support you and help you. Um, I found myself really lucky to have those people and I know Myself, I like to support others and others are always ready to do it. So don't do it alone because it's possible and it's a great job. I love it. Well, both my job actually. So I can see that there's many, many other things that can be fantastic within the service. So just go for it.